Thank you very much for a nice introduction. I'm happy to be here today and have this short presentation. First of all, I once again want to thank the organizing committee for inviting me here and giving me this chance to present here today. And uh, a little bit about myself. I'm working as a part-time PhD student in the University of Helsinki and also a part-time practicing veterinarian in, in Western Finland. And today I'm going to talk to you about the same project I was talking yesterday in room C. But today the topic is more about the calf mortality in the Finnish calf rearing units. And uh, the main objective of our project we are working on in Finland right now is to produce data and help to improve the Finnish beef production chain so that we could reduce the um, calf mortality and morbidity to respiratory diseases in Finnish calf rearing units together with reducing the overall use of antimicrobials in the whole beef production chain. Uh, the project is funded by the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in Finland and it's carried out together with the Finnish Food Safety Authority Evira, Animal Health Organization ATT, University of Helsinki and uh, the meat industry in Finland. So I will start by telling you a little bit background information about the Finnish beef production chain and how the uh, production chain works. Then we will go shortly through the aims of our study, material and methods, uh, results we have got so far. And in the end, I will uh, conclude the key findings uh, in one more slide. So here we have some repetition for those who were listening to me yesterday, but it's never bad uh, to have. Uh, so in Finland, the beef production is uh, mainly based on bull calves born in dairy farms. And uh, more than 80% of Finnish beef meat originates from the dairy farms by slaughtering old cows, but also rearing the bull calves to the slaughter age. And the bull cows, which are born in dairy farms, are usually transported to the, um, these separate calf rearing units at the age of 10 to 30 days. And uh, no prophylactic antibiotics or vaccinations are commonly used to these calves. And also the castration is very rarely uh, done. And uh, calves are usually disbudded one to two weeks after arrival to the calf rearing unit. And the disbudding is not done by the veterinarian and proper sedation, local anesthesia and pain medication is used. And after five to six months rearing period in these units, the calves are usually transported one more time to the uh, finishing unit where they will be then reared until the slaughter age, which is usually between 16 to 20 months. And in our study, we are focusing on these calf rearing units uh, where the respiratory diseases are a very common problem. And we also have, have the highest mortality and morbidity rates together with the uh, nationally compared high use of antimicrobials. So the aims of our, this part of our study was to find out the average calf mortality in the Finnish calf rearing units and also survey the calf dependent factors affecting the, the risk of uh, untimely death in the calf rearing unit. Uh, and for the study we randomly selected 60 calf rearing units from different parts of Finland and we collected the data of 20,919 calves which were transported to these units between between 1st of January and 1st of October 2016. And uh, average 349 calves were transported to each unit during this nine months period, time period. Uh, the data we collected from the National Cattle Herd Register and, from the, and the transportation data from the meat companies' data databases. And the data we collected was the breed of the calves arriving to the calf rearing unit the age of the calf uh, at the time of arrival and the calf mortality in the dairy herd where the calf was born and the size of the dairy herd where the calf uh, came from and the, also the weight of the calves when they were transported. And actually these two last ones were excluded from the, our final model because of the size of the bird farm did not have any influence to the calf mortality and the weight of the calves uh, because of high correlation with the age of the calf. And the multivariable logistic regression model was used to uh, evaluate the risk factors uh, for the calf unti uh, suffering untimely death in the calf rearing unit during the six months uh, rearing period. And the farm here was used as a random factor and the death of the calves as an outcome. So the average calf mortality in this calf rearing units was 6% during the 180 days rearing period and the range uh, 
uh, for the mortality between farms was from 1.7% uh, to 22.3%. And in your histogram on the right side, we can see the frequency of, of um, farms with different mortalities. So that in the, in the horizontal axis, we have the calf mortality and the uh, y-axis, the frequency. And here in this picture, we can see, see the breed differences in calf mortality. And uh, down here, we have the different breeds and up here, uh, the mortality calculated uh, for each breed from our, our data set. And uh, Holstein and Asia are the most common, common dairy breeds uh, used in Finland. And the MB here stands for mixed breed. Uh, so uh, so these uh, beef cows here are basically half dairy, half beef breed. In Finland, it's very common that in dairy farms, uh, cows which are not wanted to breed for, for milk production are inseminated with the beef breed bull to maximize the uh, potential of the offspring for the beef production. So that's why the mixed breeds uh, calves here. And then from our 21,000 calves, there was uh, 9,000 Holstein calves and more than 8,000 Asia calves. And the Blondie was the most common beef breed with 1,300 calves in our study population. And when we look at this picture, we can see there is uh, quite differences in calf mortality between breeds and the limousine had the highest mortality, uh, more than 15%. We are not sure what causes this. Uh, it, we thought it might have something to do with the limousine cow's natural behavior uh, and their ability to uh, hide the symptoms so that we might start the medication too late and that increases the mortality rate. But uh, we were also thinking about the, about the artificial insemination that it's quite common that in some short time, time period we use quite a lot same uh, beef breed bull for this inseminations and that genetic factor might also affect to our result, results. But that's just our speculation and should be studied more in the future. Uh, but uh, another very interesting finding for us was that the Asian cows had significantly higher mortality compared to Holstein cows, more than 3%. Uh, which is uh, unexpected because traditionally we have thought that the Holstein calves are more susceptible to higher, higher, sus higher mortality and morbidity rates compared to Asia cows. But due to our results, it seems to be other way around. And uh, other factors we were studying and we found out that the calves which were transported to these calf rearing units in older age had a significantly lower mortality rate compared to the cows uh, transported in younger age. And the low calf mortality in the dairy farm where the calf was born seems also to lower the risk to, for untimely death in the calf rearing unit. And the size of the, uh, size of the dairy farm where the calf was born did not have any influence to the risk of untimely death in the calf rearing unit. And here in the next slide I have the in the table, the results from our model, and from here we can see that the Asia calves, limousine calves, and blondie calves had a significantly higher mortality compared to the Holstein calves, which was used as a reference here, and um, and also that the calves which were transported transported in older age had significantly lower mortality compared to the calves transported in younger age. And uh, as a conclusion, uh, there was a substantial differences in calf mortality between units and the average mortality in Finnish calf rearing units was 6%. And the breed of the calf was notably associated with the mortality rate in the calf rearing units so that the limousine calves had the highest mortality more than 15% and the Angus calves uh, lowest mortality 3.2% and uh, also the Asia cows had significantly higher mortality compared to the Holstein cows, more than 3% higher. And, and the cows which were transported to the calf rearing unit in older age also had lower risk for suffering the untimely death in the rearing unit. And I want to thank the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in Finland for funding our project, uh, the Finnish meat companies and animal health organization ATT for cooperation and of course the farms that participated to our study and made it possible to collect the data. 
and of course everyone else who has been helping us, us with this project. And of course, thank you for your patience and time. I'm open for questions. <laughs>